Hi, I'm Ron Ogden. Today I'm going to show you how to beat Pop Tropica Shrink Ray Island. You guys ready? Let's do this. First things first, make sure you go to the second page in the map and choose Shrink Ray Island. Make sure you go to the school all the way to the right and enter the science fair. Again, move to your right and meet Mr. Silva. Mr. Silva will talk to you about CJ, the missing student. Move a little bit more to the right and talk to CJ's father. He'll tell you that he believes that she might be at the apartment, or at least that's where you can check for some clues. And the apartment's on Avenue A. So make sure to exit the school and move towards Avenue A. In Avenue A, make sure you stop at the house with the cat. Once inside, you'll see that you'll say something and the cat will run away. Chase it into the bathroom and make sure to chase it out of the bathroom again. Now it's time to search the apartment for some clues. The first clue you might find is on the microscope. Think small, I wonder what she could mean. Oh no, an intruder! What are we gonna do? Run! What happened? Why is everything so huge? Now we've got to figure out how to make ourselves bigger again. So let's get on it. First, move to the right, jump over to the fan. Now, jump off of the fan and turn it on. What you'll find is that it uncovers something under the bed. What is that? Let's go find out. Turn the fan off, jump to the top of the fan, jump over the fan and under the bed. It's a thumb drive! Jump over the trash can and dump it on the floor. Don't do this at home, kids. Your parents might get angry. But in Pop Tropica, anything's possible. Now we've entered into the computer room. Jump over the books, up to the top of the shelf, and push over Tess's tree. Now jump to the computer. Using your own keyboard, enter the password. M4R13CUR13. CJ's hero is Mary Curie, one of the first female chemists. Once you log in, you'll see that CJ sent an email to an unknown person. Hmm, I wonder who it could be. Now close out of the email, and let's get back to finding our way out. Where do we use thumb drives? On computers. Once you're done, let's jump up to CJ's diary. You'll notice that it's locked. Jump onto the thermostat and make sure to make the thermostat hot. There we go jump off and move into the hallway. You've got to be careful because that cat you chased out is back. Remember, every time you come back to that door, that cat will swipe at you. So always remember to jump once you get to the door. Now let's move into the living room and into the bathroom. In the bathroom, jump up to the light switches. The light switch on the left is the lights and the light switch on the right is the ventilation unit. We need to turn off the ventilation unit. Now we have to jump to the blow dryer. Then turn it on. You'll notice that the blow dryer starts blowing. Since you're so small, you can now fly. But get over the shower curtain so that you fall into the bathtub. Once you fall into the bathtub, push the soap into the tub and then move it to the left all the way to the rubber ducky. Once you've done this, you can go and turn on the faucet. Now as you're waiting for the tub to fill up, let's leave the bathroom. Once you're out of the bathroom, move to the right into the kitchen. Jump to the second dresser and collect the screwdriver. You'll need it later and it's put into your inventory. Move the sponge to the right until it's under the power clean and jump over into the trash can. Gross. First, move this tuna treat to the right. <laughs> now jump down and move this green blob of trash to the left. Now move the empty milk carton to the bottom, fall down through it. Here, take this milk carton and move it to the left. The trash will fall down as before. Move this green blob to the left move this green blob to the right. Use that blob to move the tuna treat to the left. As you'll see, everything falls over. Move the tuna treat to the left two more times and move this green blob left once. This will drop all of the trash so that you can get to the next tuna treat. Move it to the left and look! The paper! It's a torn piece of paper. Now we have to figure out what it says. Move all the way to the left until you see this tuna treat. Now move the tuna treat to the right until everything falls down and move it to the right again. Now jump over, move the tuna tree to the right one more time, move the green blob to the right once, and jump up to the top. One last move, 
move the two new treats to the right, jump up to the top, and out of the trash can we go. Finally, we're out of the trash. It kind of smelled like tuna. Ew. Now let's move on. Jump down off the trash can and move to your right. You'll notice that there's a table with some fruit on it. Before we do that, we've got to feed the cat. Move the whisker bowl to the left until the left edge of the whisker bowl meets the dresser. Now use the dresser to jump to the top and move all the way to the left. Make sure you don't leave the area. Push the rolling pin into the tea kettle and look as it, it moves to the heated stove. Use the tea kettle to move to the top of the sugar shelf and push the olive oil over. As you'll see, it starts to drop some oil. Now jump on the kitten crunchies five times to build up a little bit of food in, in Whisker's bowl. Now as you can see, a ledge has been made. Let's move the Whisker bowl to the right, directly underneath the table. Use the Whisker's crunchies to jump onto the table and grab a grape. First, take the piece of paper. You'll need it later. Now grab the grape. With the grape in your hand, jump down off the table and move to the left. Jump up to the kitchen counter. Pick up the toaster cord and plug it in. Now jump onto the toaster handle. Look, you're not heavy enough for anything to happen. Pick up your grape and jump back on the handle. You'll notice it goes down. Whee! Push the salt over to the left-hand side of the spatula handle. Now jump on the spatula. Look, more whee! Now we're on top of the fridge. Don't fall down. Move to the left and grab the remote control. Now jump off the fridge and move into the living room. Take out your screwdriver and use it on the car. Look, there's a battery inside. Take the battery, it'll be put into your inventory. Now jump up to the table and put the battery in the remote control. Now jump on the remote control, it'll turn the TV on. Now jump to the top of the TV and climb the pole. Look, you're all covered in static electricity. It's awesome. Now float over to the top of the paintings and jump. Make sure you're careful here because you can't fall. Now there's some fish food. Move the fish food to the left and feed the fishes below. About five shakes should do. Jump over the fish food into the tank. Make sure to turn off the aqua filter. What's that? A key. Remember that diary we saw? That's the key to the diary. Pesky cat can't get us. Now that we're in the computer room, jump up to the computer and back up to the diary. Use the key on the diary. You should never read anyone's diary unless they're in trouble. Then it's okay. Take the torn page and complete the page. Now look, it says lemon plus paper plus light bulb. I wonder what that means. Let's jump to CJ's desk where the lamp is. Now jump on the microscope so that you can get to the top of the lamp. Much like the fan before, stay on the lamp until it goes all the way down. You may have to jump a couple of times. Turn on the lamp and come to the bottom. Now remember that blank piece of paper we saw before near the lemons? Let's use that and see what happens. We have to look for her in the telescope. School coordinates. That's CJ Smart. She used disappearing ink. So move to the left, back into the bedroom. Now you'll see all that trash in the trash can that you pushed over is now floating. You can use it to jump back onto the bed. You'll see that there's a Morse code book. Make sure you use the bed post to jump over the fan. Now jump onto the dresser and up to her cork board. Now if you notice, you highlight each one of the pins, you can jump up to those pins. Use it until you see X equals 87 and Y equals 16. These are the coordinates for the school. Jump on the first one in the X and turn it to 87. Jump on the second and turn it to 16. Then look into this telescope. Now we have to watch CJ as she tries to tell us what her message is from across the way. First word is flush, the, thumb, drive. Now back into the hallway, jump over the cat as usual, pesky cat. First things first though, before you go into the bathroom, grab the battery from the remote control, put it back into the remote control car. We're going to need it in a couple of minutes. Now let's move into the bathroom. Now that we're back in the bathroom, jump back up to the light switch and turn off the light. Now jump back over to the blow dryer and go back into the bathtub. It should be filled by now. Look, it is. 
Now use the soap to jump on the ducky and the ducky to jump over the edge of the bathtub. Now we're on the toilet. Gross. That's okay. Grab your thumb drive, put it into the toilet, and flush it fast. Someone's coming. Jump up to the flushing mechanism and jump on it. Uh-oh, someone is coming. Good thing we turned off that light. Now we should go back to the telescope to see if CJ's got anything else to tell us. Now jump off the toilet, back into the bathtub, climb the rope, and out the bathroom. Back towards the remote control car. Now get in the remote control car and drive it to the left. Drive your car all the way to the ramp you made. Oh man, jumping off this ramp would fly me straight through the window. I'd need to be a pretty good reason to do something like that crazy. Go into CJ's bedroom. Use the, tra the flying trash again to jump onto the bed. This part can be difficult, even I had trouble. Make sure you use the bedpost to jump over the fan and back to the telescope. Jump on the dials and turn it back to 87 and X and 16 on Y. Now take a look at the telescope. She's got another message for us. What has she got to say? Thief is Mr. Silva. Oh no! Mr. Silva's the thief? We better get to the school to save CJ. Back to the car! Drive that car off the ramp. Woohoo! We broke a window. Normally that would be bad. But in Pop Tropica, anything's possible! Now this is a mini game where you just have to avoid all the obstacles. You can't really fail, it'll just keep resetting you. So once you're finished, we'll move on. We're back at the school. Now once you enter the school, move to the left. And look! It's CJ! What should we do, CJ? CJ says, no matter what, we need to make sure Mr. Silva doesn't see us. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? Oh no, Mr. Silva! Look, the shrink ray! If he shrinks us anymore, we'll be too small to ever be seen again. We better run. First, run behind the crumpled up piece of paper. Wait for Mr. Silva to fire the shrink ray. Move all the way to the left to the quartz. Let him shoot the shrink ray again. Jump up the shelves until you're hiding behind the chemistry set. Wait for him to fire the shrink ray again and move behind the globe. Wait for him to fire it one more time. And look, he's made the stand of the globe small, but not the globe itself. Jump down and hide behind the beaker. Once he's finished, move the globe to the left under the chair. Quickly jump to the top of the globe and use the chair to get to the desk. Hide behind the lunch pail. Now move to the right until you get behind the mirror. Uh-oh. We've got you now, Mr. Silva. He'll fire that beam and hit himself in the face. We did it! Ha-ha, Mr. Silva! That's what you get for being so mean! I hope you enjoy your aunt calling me, Mr. Silva. It's what you deserve. Now let's jump down and talk to CJ. She wants us to switch it back to grow. Move over to the shrink ray and select the grow option. We've done it. We're big again! We've saved the day! We beat Pot Tropica's Shrink Ray Island. Congratulations! Use your medal. You deserve it. Yeah! Good job, guys! You worked real hard. That's how you beat Pop Tropica's Shrink Ray Island. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time, huh?